What are the creatures in the movie The Descent? They were named simply as crawlers, but only referred in the movie as things. Although their origins were not fully explained, it seems they've been around for thousands of years, and some humans were even aware of their cannibalistic ways for some time. Now their anatomy closely resembles humans, which would explain why they are listed as human subspecies with males, females, and children within the colony. During the time they spent living in the caves, they adapted to living in this environment. They were seen as a feral, primal species that always lived in deep caves, and there were even many chambers within, each one serving a different purpose, like one for feeding, drinking, and defecating, which shows that the creatures have some form of intelligence by having separate locations, and each one has its own use. There were still two genders within the crawler species, male and female, while the females had a large amount of head hair, the males had none at all. Now, similar to bats, they hunted by sound, but also by smell. These adaptations were so acute that they could hunt in complete darkness. Because living in the caves has very poor lighting from the sun, the crawlers had grown accustomed to hunting by this method. Although, if any unfortunate human was to stumble upon this creature inside a cave, they could use sound as a distraction, like rocks radios, or anything that emits a sound. And for being great hunters, they were also seen as expert climbers, able to scale any rock surface within the cave. Although they are well adapted to hunt in dark areas, they were also seen to kill animals on ground level and drag them into the caves for feeding. The ending of the second movie showed Ed dragging the body of Rios to the cave entrance. This could imply that Ed was possibly trying to keep the crawlers at bay. Just by leaving them food, it could be a means of not letting the crawlers venture too far into places with humans. Now, in the second movie, their design underwent some small changes to make them more inbred, scarred, and deformed. They received rows of shark-like teeth used for ripping flesh. Their faces seemed to be a combination of a golem and a vampire with pointy ears. And part of the set was designed to house any leftover bones. It was called the Crawler Crapper. The crawlers were also listed as part of the troglophiles subgroup. These are cave-dwelling creatures that have a complete life cycle in the cave system, but they can also hunt and survive above the ground. These creatures were also described as cavemen that never left the caves. This was mentioned by director Neil Marshall. So if you've seen these movies, what do you think about the crawlers? Let me know in the comments section. If you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. My name is Carlos, and I'll see you in the next video.